Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to install a thing called XAMP. Now XAMP will turn your normal Windows or Linux machine into a web server with all of this cool stuff. Apache, MySQL, PHP, files, FTP, Tomcat, all this stuff. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to download XAMP to install it. So XAMP. Is this the one? XAMP for Windows. We want just the installer. So just click on that and it'll take you to their SourceForge website. Here we go. So then the thing will pop up. You just want to save it. Now as you see, it's going to take nine minutes. So I'm going to pause it there and um, return once it is downloaded. So as you can see, you can get XAMP for Linux, Windows, Mac, Solaris, and it's all free of charge. It tells you all here, ApacheFriends.org is the site. But yeah, so blah, blah, blah. All this sort of stuff, download statistics. You can install Joomla, WordPress, Drupal. You can put anything that will use this SQL, MySQL backend. And also, if it's just straight HTTP, you can also um, run Java applets, I think they're called, off it, using Tomcat. We're nearly done now. So there we go, that's installed, um, that's downloaded I mean. So now you just want to click the file. If you're not using Firefox, you're going to have to open it however you open in your browser. But you just run the file that's downloaded. We just want to continue. I don't want to disable my antivirus. As you can see, you can pick the different things that you want. So if you don't want Tomcat or the mail server component or the FTP server or MySQL, you can untick them like that and then press next. But for us, I'm going to install it all and select next just into C XAMP. Next. Learn more about Bitnami and XAMP. I don't want to, but you can if you want to. Click next and it will install. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's me dog barking. If you think, what's that noise? Probably someone walking past you don't like or something. Now, it's finished, and it asks you if you want to start the control panel now, which I do, so I'll leave that going, select finish, and the control panel should start up. So as you can see, we've got these different things. Are they going? Are they not? Are they installed? So first, I just want to get Apache and MySQL going, so I'm going to tick there and I want to install it as a service. So yes, and I want it to allow access to all networks. You may, you may not. Private networks is, you know when you connect to a network and it pops up, what is this? And you select work network, home network, or public network. So if you tick this one, this will not work through public networks. So if you select public network, people won't be able to browse this. But Hopefully you're usually in a private network anyway, because these public networks aren't really secure. Anyway, I'm going to allow access to both. And then I'm also going to start install MySQL as a service. So select yes. 
and then it gives you a little report here. So installing service, successful, installing service, successful. So now that these two services are installed, I want to start them both. Let's give this a moment to start. So it says it's running. And you, as you can see, it's running on port 80 and port 443. Port 443 is HTTPS and port 80 is HTTP. So on your web browser, it'll say, oh, it doesn't on this, because it's silly, HTTP. So now that's gone. So now how do you actually know that it's working? Like, you can see here that it's working, but how do you know for sure? So what we're going to do now is we are going to go to HTTP, oop, that was the wrong letter, colon, backslash, backslash, local host. Now, local host points to yourself. So as you can see, XAMP is working. Now, there's also, if you don't want to go to localhost, you can go to what's called a um, loopback IP. So this IP address, it just points to yourself, which is 127.0.0.1. Enter. And as you can see, it takes you to the exact same place. All that's different is it doesn't say localhost, it says 127.0.0.1. So this is your initial configuration of XAMPP. So for this, you want to select English if you English or or I want to select English. Everyone else, if you got to use a different language, feel free to select it. English, and there we go. So now you know that the web server is working. How do you know that SQL is working? Well, this is where PHP My Admin comes into it. PHP My Admin is a front-end web-based thing to um, what do you call it? to access your MySQL? So as you can see, you can see there's databases and crap in here already that are built into it. Test, yep. So there's some stuff here, which we don't want to play with that stuff because that's built in. So when you want to later on, you can create databases, which I'll do a separate video on PHP My Admin. But anyway, that's basically it. We've now installed our own web server on the um, Windows machine. Actually, I'll do something cool. If we go, so the the actual pages are stored in this thing called HT Docs. So if we go HT Docs, and if you want to right click on that and go open, well, I didn't right click on it. Open with, and I'm just going to open this with Notepad. So as you can see, it works. So now, if we go local host, we don't see that. Let's try going index. Oh, what was that file name? Sorry, index.htm. Maybe it's HTML. Sorry, but this is just ridiculous. There we go. Index.html. It works. So now you know that it can load the HTML. It does have MySQL. So we know the services are working. Anyway. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been Jaken, and um, I'll see you next time.